I'm Keiko for Keiko on the Go, and I'm going to show you today how to open up your chest and shoulders against a wall. I'm going to try a pose just like doing a supported cobra or a baby cobra, but if you use a wall to put your chest against, it can hold you there in place so you're not using your back strength as much, although if you come down a little bit lower, it really opens your chest and shoulders. Now we're going to get on our knees first. So this pose can be a little bit tricky, especially for the guys. Um, I had some male students call it the candy crush. <laughs> wonder why. But um, anyways, so first you want to come into kind of like an up dog position and then start sliding your front of your chest and body forward. You want to relax your glutes because you don't want to pinch your lower back and get your chest and shoulders against the wall. You want to relax and get your hands out like a T first. Inhale, exhale, and then maybe put your hands up and then pull your shoulder blades away from one another. Scapula is engaged. And you want to stay here for at least three to five breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So this might be like really a lot for most people. I think if you have lower back pain or back pain, you should try this stretch if you don't have sharp or shooting pain. Although to make it easier, you don't have to come up as high because if you come up higher, it's more difficult and more strain on your back. So you can start out lower so you can even just put your hips on the ground and then try to get your chest and shoulders. And then as you progress and open up more, you can get your chest and your hips up more. You wanna remember again to do not squeeze your butt. You wanna relax your glutes. To get out of the pose, you can just wiggle your way out. And then to counter the pose, come into a child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart, hands in front of you. Thanks for watching.